This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I've got some mystery packs today. I only have a few. I just thought I would test out this new one that I saw because it seems kind of uh, almost too good to be true. So these are 500 yen mystery packs, which is only about $5. Uh, but supposedly you're going to get an SR or better in every pack which that is typically more reserved for 1,000 yen mystery packs. And even then, you don't always uh, get SRs, but um, this one seems to be guaranteed. So if we can trust the vending machine. So we've got five. I just want to kind of test it out and see how it goes. See what we get, see what kind of thing we can expect. And then maybe we'll go back and get some more. So anyway, let's crack into the first one. So I'm guessing this card, which is facing the other way is the good card. So let's see. All right. So we're getting some fusion arts cards right off the bat. Yes. Twin energy. That's pretty good. All right. Take that. You got a Durant. That is not the mill one though, right? No. All right. And then our first hit. <laughs> oh, all right, that's a pretty good start. I will take that. Geraldon VMAX with Raihan just going Super Saiyan on Geraldon's head. I don't know if we, if we can get super close. Come on, come on. What's There we go. You can see him. He's, he's going nuts up there. All right, that is pretty good. I will tell you that is definitely worth more than $5. That's probably more like $15. So we're kind of doing pretty good on the first one already. I have got this card. I did actually buy it um, for about that price. It's it's not particularly expensive, but it is a sweet looking card. I really dig the artwork on that. So that is a very good start. Not, not at all disappointed to have a double of that. All right, so that is a good start. Can only go downhill from here, there, right? I don't know. We will see, but uh, that is pretty good. I don't think they're all going to be that good. All right, ooh, this is kind of a older trainer card. from That's from Sun and Moon base set, Illima. Ball guy. At least they're giving us some trains and stuff. All right, that is uh, out of rotation. So is that. It's a bit of fluff on this card. All right, what is it? Oh, oh he's got a ding. My, the what is he called in English? Cafe master. He's just called master in uh, in Japanese. But I don't have this, so that is sweet. Serving up his a uh, delicious coffee treat there, and I. I was moving some stuff around on my desk and I just saw the appropriate card to go with that. Let's see if I got it right here somewhere. I think I saw it. Am I crazy? No, I definitely I definitely just saw that character rear somewhere. If I can't find it, I apologize. No, I got a ton of character rares here right in front of me, but I can't find that particular one. But anyway, it's the Al Creamy one. They're gazing into each other's eyes longingly. That's the guy. I don't have that though, so that will go in the binder. I should do a video about my VMAX Climax binder. It's going pretty good. I think I'm up to like 60-ish of the secret rares in the set. There's like a hundred though, so we got a few more to go. What the? All right, that's kind of an old one. My champ. Pretty cool. Just throw that in there randomly. Huh. <laughs> it's very bent. This must be from a Totodile deck. It's got a little Totodile on there. That's actually pretty cool. If it was uh, not damaged. I mean, it's still cool. Oh, we got a Reshiram. Okay. It's like the 50th one I've got. And... Oh, alright. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, nobody plays this anymore, but... That's pretty good. I mean, $5 mystery pack. I'll take that. Center Scorch. I really got to get the character uh, SR from VMAX Climax. I don't have that yet. That is a cool looking one. This one's, it's okay. I, I think I have it already. I'm not sure. I, there would have been a time when this, 
point sense scorch was kind of uh, pretty desirable that that might have been worth a little bit, but not anymore, unfortunately. And I will sleeve the amazing rare because they are cool. Uh, but we do have a bunch. So, I mean, I feel like that's so far pretty good for five bucks. Honestly, cannot complain with the pulls so far. I, you don't expect to get like anything crazy expensive or anything, but an SR in every pack is great. Is really nice. All right. What's in this one? We got a poker gear. I like that. They're putting some like, not just bulk cards. I mean, some of them are bulk counter game. Yeah old trainer cards, but, ooh, I want to get the full art of them, I don't have that, all right, what is this, huh, it's a bit older, very off-center, very off-center Latios, but that's a pretty cool one, I feel like, you know, anything that's a legendary Pokemon is generally, like, reasonably desirable, this is probably not, like, the best one, I, think I have this as well but I mean that's pretty good I like that it's not just like a cheap one from a recent set it's something a little bit older it's a cheap one from an older set but still that's a cool one anything like I said with a legendary on it is usually you know somebody will want it it's very off-center though I, I'm glad they kind of have sorted that problem recently because like that is there was a time there for a little bit where they were like this a lot but see like looking at these older cards no print lines. So I don't know when the print lines became a thing. And I'm just looking at this one. Actually, the, the HRs don't tend to have print lines. But I bet these ones do, though. I'm just trying to see. It's kind of hard to make out on this one. These cards are not giving me a good, good example. This one should have something. Huh. It doesn't. I have print lines on all my, my good rare cards. Hold on. I saw a good one. When I was looking through this stack a second ago. To kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. Here we go. So it didn't used to be a problem, but it definitely is a problem recently. So if you look at this, you can see like there, there's a line going across. And also I saw another one in the middle. Yeah, like right in the middle. There's another one. And down the bottom, they've got a triple print line. So... Like, I kind of thought, oh, maybe it's where the, the sheets, like, that they cut is, like, joined together or something. But, like, they don't really print it like that, I don't think. And then that wouldn't make sense to have three like that. So, I don't know. They are obviously changed something. And it's not really that good uh, quality recently. I don't know how that will affect grading, etc. Because the card is perfectly fine apart from that. And we can't really control that. But you can't really control the condition that it comes out of the pack either. So, I don't know. But... Yeah, they had the centering issues and now they got the, the print line issues. So I don't know what's happened. It's kind of disappointing. But uh, if all the cards are like that, you can't really help it. But then I have seen somewhere people are selling like Marnie's Pride with no print lines. It's like way more expensive than a normal one. So I, I don't know. All right, we got Totodile there. Got another Twin Energy. This is the last one. <laughs> we did actually pull this, I think. I'm pretty sure I pulled this in a video. Big old chipmunk, squirrel, squirrel, yeah. HR. So, I mean, mm, we got the nice uh, Gerald on. The rest are, like, okay. But you can't complain with that for five bucks. Like, look at what we, what we got. Two HRs and three SRs and, and an amazing rare. It's pretty good, honestly. I think I'm going to have to get some more. So... Yeah, like, you're not going to expect any crazy, crazy pulls out of this, but some pretty cool stuff came out, and all, like I said, SR in every pack. So, yes, I'm going to get some more. Anyway, let me know what you think of these mystery packs. For five bucks, I think it's very, very reasonable indeed. Uh, yeah, anyway, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.